This time last year, I was thinking the exact same thing with Steven Gerrard's Aston Villa essentially winning the transfer market, bringing in the likes of Diego, Carlos, Felipe, Coutinho, Bubakai, Kamara. I thought they were definitely going to challenge for Europe, and then Gerrard was sacked in September. It's a similar story this year with Aston Villa spending big, and I do think they are again winning the transfer market, but this time they have a competent manager. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Aston Villa and all their transfer business. If you do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. After Unai Emery took over at Aston Villa, there was a dramatic change in results. There was a clear improvement in all of the players and it looked like the squad was getting better and they ended up finishing the season 7th getting a Europa Conference League spot. This is the first time Aston Villa qualified for a European competition since the 2009-10 season. There were a lot of very important players for this Aston Villa side, for example Tyron Mings had a massive improvement compared to time under Steven Gerrard and was now back in the England squad. Ollie Watkins had a fantastic second half of the season scoring his most ever Premier League goals in a season scoring 15. Kamara finally showed the class he showed at Marseille. Jacob Ramsey the local boy was starring. Emmy Martinez was his always his brilliant self. There was also a massive improvement in Emi Buendia who had struggled under Gerrard. Things are looking very good for Aston Villa. Well, you might say to me, am I hyping this up too early like I did with Steven Gerrard before any of these guys have played a Premier League match for Villa? Well, look at Alex Moreno for example who was signed in January. He has been brilliant and it shows that Unai Emery knows what he's doing when he's making these signings. To be fair, he was also the guy that spent 72 million on Nicolas Pepe but we'll ignore that. Right, so let's get into their signings and first of all we'll start with Yori Tielemans. 26 years of age, he was a fantastic player for Leicester in previous seasons, not so much last season. When the going got tough, he didn't really show up. However, he is definitely a brilliant player. Maybe not the fastest, but a fantastic footballer who was being linked to Man United and Liverpool for years. He scored that famous goal in the FA Cup final to win Leicester their first FA Cup. An absolute rocket. He's definitely a versatile player that can play as a 6, 8 or 10, so he is going to have options to get into this Aston Villa squad, though I don't see him being an immediate starter as the pivot of Douglas Luiz and Kamara is brilliant. So I think the best option for him to become a regular starter is to be used as one of the attacking players. Now on to Pau Torres, who has the Villa signed for 33 million euros, a fantastic player for Villarreal who won the Europa League two years ago with Unai Emery. Because he isn't the physically biggest of centre-backs, so could he be able to do it in the Premier League? Similar things were said about Lissandra Martinez last summer, though it was his height, not his size, but look how good he's been. I have no doubt that he will be a success, a fantastic centre-back who was linked to Tottenham, Man United, Liverpool, Juventus. But Aston Villa have got their man and their defensive options are brilliant now with Ezri Konza, Tyro Mings, Diogo Carlos and Pau Torres. And now the signing that was most recently announced for a club record for a man that was doing brilliant for Bayer Leverkusen last season under a former Liverpool player who played in the Champions League final in 2005. Thankfully for Aston Villa fans, not Steven Gerrard, Xabi Alonso. And the player is Moussa Diaby for 55 million euros. This is an exciting pacey winger who gets goals and assists. He cuts inside, he cuts outside. He's just unpredictable. He's a fantastic player. And well, I did say the same about Leon Bailey, but I really am convinced this guy can do it in the Premier League. A fantastic signing for Aston Villa, especially when the likes of Newcastle were linked to her playing in the Champions League. But Aston Aston Villa have got yet another fantastic player. Naturally, there's also been some transfer rumours, including Joao Felix to Aston Villa. I just don't see that one happening. Pau Torres and Moussa Diaby are Champions League players, and I know they went to Villa, but I don't in the move. The only real notable departure for Villa is Ashley Young, who left on a free transfer. He's now joined Everton, and although his name doesn't suggest it, he is 38. He doesn't have a future at the club, so it's not really that big of a loss. So Villa have no notable departures, whilst they're making very good signings, so they're only going to get better, while Brighton could potentially lose Moises Caicedo. They've already lost McAllister. They haven't really made any fantastic signings yet so they're going down. Their team's gotten worse. Tottenham could be losing Harry Kane. Fulham could be losing Mitrovic and their manager. Brentford don't have Ivan Toni for the first half of the season. Newcastle have more fixtures but not that strong of a squad. A lot of the teams that were in the top half of the table last season are getting worse. Chelsea will probably improve but I really do think there is a genuine possibility that Aston Villa finish in the top six. And if they perform they easily win the conference league because West Ham were terrible last season. They were in a relegation battle for the majority of the season and they still won the conference league so if Villa perform, they are going to win it and that gives them an automatic qualification to the Europa League. And when it comes to European competitions, Emery is a bit of a specialist. He's a four-time Europa League winner, so you'd surely think he has the ability to go out and now win his first Conference League. With the signings they've made, making an already good squad even better, potentially adding more to that, you'd surely think they will get a European spot in the league next season and potentially add another European trophy to an already impressive collection. But let me know what you think in the comments. What do you think of Aston Villa's transfer window so far? I personally think it is a 10 out of 10. If you do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new and you want to support the channel an extra bit more, feel free to become a channel member. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.